Welcome to the show, guys. This is Mike with Dornlock Tips. We're going to have a great show tonight. This is a Leashy L.A. pick. If you stay till the end, you get to see the brand new Peterson pick. Yeah. Hey, everybody. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips. Oh, I've got a doozy tonight. I've got a break in. Yeah, a break in. I'm going to get through a Sergeant L.A. Cylinder. I got a brand new pick. I just got it in the mail, guys. Let me show it to you. Look at this pick, guys. It's from Leashy. Called a SAR21R. There must be a left as well someday. Maybe they'll have it out. But this is an original Leashy. Look at this thing. I can't wait to play with it. Look at guys. Is this cool or what? brand new leashy pick Ooh. and I'm gonna be really careful I don't want to break this thing it's too beautiful we're gonna go do a break in tonight well not really I'm gonna show you how to use this pick I've got a couple of cylinders you're gonna love it love it she s a r 2 1 r it's gonna be great I can't wait to play with it cool or what I'm loving it look at it we got a fly in the leashy original for sergeant la this just hit the u.s it's an s a r 2 1 r I'm loving it picked with it a few times it's great come on let's enjoy the show I just want to tell you, this was not an easy video to make. These are Sargent LA cylinders. I master pinned them, so I made it kind of difficult for myself. But I pinned up two cylinders. They're identical. I wanted to see if one cylinder was harder than the other. Pinned up the same way. A master key system, Sargent LA. And I'm using the beautiful, brand new, Leashy Sargent LA pick. This thing really works, by the way. This key is so messed up. I don't know what happened. It's kind of crazy. Kind of catches for some odd reason. Not watch, it won't do it. I even repin the cylinder to see if that was the problem. It's cold out here in North Carolina. Beautiful. ITL. It's a little temperamental in the cold. I don't know. Let me show you this. Killer! Sergeant SAR21R. That's the numbers of the thing. Why didn't they just call it Sergeant LA Pick? I wish they would have just done that. It made it so much easier. I mean, what did I do? Just cut myself? Here's the leashy pick. It's a beauty. It really is. Buy it right now. Guess what, guys? You're not going to believe the price. It's only 49 bucks. You got to have this in your arsenal. You know how many Sergeant LA are out there? This is like a must-have. You don't even think about this kind of thing. You just buy it. Because if you're a locksmith and you got to get through something, you're going to see how simple this really is to use. I love it. Look at how cool it is. Isn't that cool? They must be making a million dollars on these things. This is one killer pick. And there's the guy. I bet you he's happy. It's an original. This is the real McCoy. If there is such a thing. They got several names of these. There it is. Look at that. 49 buckaroonies. Locksmith keyless. Get this thing. It's beautiful. Let's enjoy the show. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up tell your friends hit that super like button you're gonna help me out and i can buy more stuff for the show guys i cannot hardly wait to show you this leashy pick in action great deal how much is that 49.23 i paid 70 bucks mm, that's out of stock by the way you got to order it but nobody has it in the united states so i paid the premium for the first guy that got it, first locksmith shop. 
a UHS, however I think I got it from. But here it is, most killer pick on the planet. It will pick right through a Sergeant LA commercial master pinned system. And I kind of made it a little difficult. Some of the pins are tough. We're cut a key on my beautiful ITL, and we're gonna cut a key because this key, where is that key? Somewhere. Oh, it's right here. This key is funky. I couldn't get the, the measurements right from the shoulder. Crazy. I don't know why. It's a knockoff. So I got some real Sergeant keys. I hate to practice with the real ones. This is a real Sergeant LA. It'll probably make the difference. The tolerances are different. Those knockoffs are just not the same. Oh, it even feels better. It goes in nice. So let's get picking first. Cut a nice little key on the ITL 9700A. This is bar none one of the best key machines in the world. So we're gonna cut an LA Sergeant key on it to my bidding, and then we're gonna pick through this lock. Stay tuned. Guys, we're gonna turn on the ITL. Oh, watch this. Boom. Isn't that cool? All right, so it's alive. Now I take my little book, it's page 54 in my book, and it's under Sergeant forward slash zero one, LA key. Just look at my book and I set the manufacturer up to 388. Let's do that. 388. 388 manufacturer. It's set up. It woke up that fast. It's not like some of these other key machines where you gotta wait for the booting and all this software and all this stuff. It's embedded in the ITL already. Great machine, I love it. All right, now we're gonna put in the bidding because it's already set. So we put our book away. I take the bidding, I've already got a master key chart. The bidding on this one is 857861. 857861. So there's the bidding, and I just check myself. 857861, I put in code. I cut a real sergeant key. This is not a knockoff, this is a real McCoy. Here we go. There we are. And all I gotta do is push cut. Got a brand new blade in there. Boy, is this slick. There we go. That is beautiful. There it is, guys. Gorgeous cut. Now we're gonna clean it up. Oh, you know what? A knockoff is junk. That works perfect the first time. You gotta get the original stuff. This is an original Sergeant. It's an old timer, man. These come out of some old buildings. But there you have it, it works perfect. All right, let's see if it works in this one. I think there's something wrong with this cylinder. Be honest with you, it's got a hang up in it. It's not cool. This is an ancient cylinder. I took it out of an old, old building. Should work though, that, that works. It just needed a little, a little play there. Sometimes the, the pins mess up. You know, it'd be good if I put some lube down it. I've got some of this white all-purpose lubricant. Let's dump some down its face. All right, there we go. I don't know if I trust this white stuff. It's from lab. Yeah, there's still a hang up in there. 
Hmm. I don't know why it does that. See the difference between two cylinders pinned identical? I mean, I meticulously pinned these. I put in new springs. I did everything in these old cylinders. Funky. Oh, that's as smooth as butter. I mean, we're talking butter here. So sometimes you get a bad cylinder. This was bad, though. I can hardly get the pick into it. I slide my pick and watch. It won't go, hardly go past that point. I'm going to really push it in and pull it out. I think the cylinder's a little funky. All right, let's get into the picking. Here's our setup, guys. We've got the two cylinders. One's kind of funky bad, and the other one really works nice. These are very ancient. Pulled them out, out of a, about an 80-year-old building. That one works absolutely perfect, flawlessly, and they're pinned meticulously. I opened them up twice. This one has some funkiness to it. I don't know what's going on. Let's look at this. It's catching somewhere in here, right in there. Oh well. We're not going to worry about it. These aren't really going in any building. I was just kidding you about breaking in. <laughs> We're just going to pick these bad boys. And having an original key versus a knockoff. These knockoffs, I was cutting them yesterday and I could not get the key to work right. So there's an L.A. knockoff and there's an L.A. original. Asa Abloy. Big difference. The key. This is funky. Key works great though. So we're gonna set it up in my pan of ice. I have some custom jaws on this thing. I love these pan of ices. Let's, let's take a look at this thing. You can adjust it in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I could even pick right here and show you how it's done. I don't like that angle. I wanna feel comfy when I'm picking this Sergeant LA with my brand new leashy pick. I'm gonna be so careful with these picks from now on. I don't wanna break them. They're 70 bucks. On sale though, this was a great deal. I highly suggest you buy that. <laughs> That's a sale price. You have to wait. Look at that thing. Isn't that a work of art? How do they do that? And you know what? This is literally welded. Laser welding. I thought it was crimped. But look at the welds. Those are laser welds, guys. They don't use anything but the metal itself, and they just blast on that. And you can do minute things. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So it's laser weld. You can change the handle from one side to the other, which is nice. If I need a right or a left, I can do it right in the field with the Allen wrench on the back side. Great pick. What is this thing called? SAR21R. When they get the L out, they get that too. All right, let's get picking. We'll do an honorable mention. Oh man, I just love this ITL. This is a great thing. I got these stickers, <laughs> you know, COK Supply. I want them. You can uh, do a hashtag thing, Lock Boss, and you can win stickers and all kinds of shirts and stuff. I want a mat from these guys and I want these stickers. I kind of like them on here. But isn't this a cool machine? This is one beautiful. And the software wakes up instantaneously. I'll shut it off. Watch this. No lead time. Boom. It's alive. That fast. I don't have to wait around. And the head, watch this. The head goes through some gyrations. Isn't that cool? Just to get itself turned on. I just thought I'd show you that, guys. Let's go ahead and set this up. You can adjust the pan of ice in any direction for picking. I love this friction fit. Vice jaws, beautiful. Cut them custom, installed them on this pan of ice. I wanted something to hold my cylinders better. 
Yeah, this one works perfect. I just put it right in my pan of ice. Tighten that up. Not too tight, you'll crush the, the walls on the cylinder. Housing. And there it is. Let's get it so we can see it. Kind of comfy. I think that'll probably do it. The key works. Let's make sure of that. There's the bidding on the key. That's kind of serious jump. So I got to jump over the top of number one and down to get to these rest of these pins. So I made it difficult. This is going to be harder. Sergeant. Boy, that's a great, great key. Great company. Let's insert the leashy. It'll go right in easily. That is nice. No play there. And this is your tension bar. <laughs> Barely put any tension. I did lubricate the cylinder. I put this white stuff in, this lab stuff. I mean, it does work. I don't use this, but, you know, it's better than greasy hands right now. We're going to get started. And there, I set the timer. We're all the way in. I'm all the way on number six chamber. And we got a little bit of a set there. Nothing on five. Okay, good one on four. Good one on three. <laughs> oh, I felt them master pins. Nothing on one. Let's go back to the six chamber. That's a good set. five. I'm going to say that one's right on. Number four is probably already set. Number three. Probably right there. Number two. Say we're okay on two. Number one. That's kind of a bummer. Ooh. There we go. We're in. Minute and 48 seconds. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So let's take out this cylinder and we're going to do the other cylinder that's kind of funky. This is the cuts. This one is a little funky, man. It's got a catch in it. Let's see if I can do a goofed up cylinder. My beautiful pan of ice. I love these vices. We're going to start over. Let's make sure the key works in it, though. I don't want to go all this trouble and it won't turn. Yeah, it works. Let's play. Get my killer pick out. Thank you, Lishi. Thank you for making a pick I can actually use in the commercial world. All right, got it all the way down. This really has trouble getting into this cylinder. Something goofed up in there. All right, let's fill the first one. This is pinned the same way, so it should work the same way. Number four. Six chamber, I'm all the way in. I felt a click right there. It's right around three. Let's go up to number five chamber. Oh, there's a click right there on five. Ooh, ooh. I just, I bet you I overset that one. Number four. I bet you I'm going to have to start over, guys. Let's start over. 
you got to have very light tension. I mean, just the slightest. All right, that was number six chamber. Didn't get much there. Number five, I got a good click. Same as before. Oh, I bet you I just overset. It's right there. It's right there on number four. Number three, there's nothing there. Number two, there's nothing there. Number one, there's nothing there. Let's go back. Ah, I felt the tension bar move, guys. So we're at the sixth chamber. Well, I think that's set. Number five is set. Ooh, number four. There we go. Got number four set. The third chamber. There we go. Got that one. This is not hard. It's kind of fun. Two. Oh, I felt the whole tension bar move. And number one now. Got to jump over that. There's a pin in the way. There we are. We're in two minutes. Two minutes, 30 some seconds. 32 seconds. We're in. And the beauty of these leashy picks, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Now that I picked it, I can go back and cut a key pretty much to code right there. The very first one probably is, what would we say that one is? Five, maybe? Five. All the way in. Got to go all the way in. First is, yeah, probably a five. And you're just going to experiment with your key cutting machine. So the first one is probably, probably a five. Second one is probably a six. A six. That looks like a seven to me. Well, that one is. Well, I'd say a five. And then we're going to go to the last chamber, see where that one's at. That one's an eight for sure. So there's the, the bidding. I would cut a key and experiment. You're close. The first one looks like a one. Let's see this, why this is so far down on the first one. I, I've overset that into the master pins. <laughs> see, when you have a master pin set up, you have several different shear lines going on. So if I cut a key to this bidding that I'm showing you, even though it's different than this one, there's a master key behind this system right here in this cylinder. And so I'm at a different shear line. That's all there is to it. I have a lot of master pins in there. Let me just show you the master key setup. Bidding is what was right here. So it was actually 857861, but there's a master key in here, and the thing probably just ran into the master key bidding, which is 635685. I just made this up for fun. All kinds of things you can do with a master key system. I built several pages of this. I just did some overkill. You can have many pages going on and on. So there you have it, guys. Beautiful cylinders. Old, about 80 year old cylinders, and they still work nice. This one works exceptionally nice. The other one's catchy. But I still got through it with my wonderful brand new leashy pit. Look at that bad boy, isn't that gorgeous? I love it. 
beautiful. I'm going to show you these new picks, though, I just picked up. Get it? I just picked them up. I bought them from Peterson, Peterson Lock Pick, and they're credit card picks. You stick these on both sides of these, put this in your wallet, and nobody even knows you have picks. Because if you're somewhere and you don't have your pick set with you, you can always use these. Look at them beauties. And they're everything you're going to need. Look at that, especially that one right there. That one's the most important. You know, you can rake it with these little snake picks. Look at these nice little picks. Stay tuned. Tell your friends, please. Tell your friends about this brand new Sergeant LA lock pick from Leashy. And it's, whoa, this is their other one. <laughs> I'm showing the wrong pick. This is another brand new. This is for Yale. Look at this bad boy. This is for little Yale locks. Grab the wrong one. This is a KW5. That's a beauty too. So here it is again. Leashy for Sergeant LA. It's an SAR21R. Please tell your friends, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit that super thanks. It will help my channel out. I'll be able to buy more picks like this to show you more and more goodies. In just a few minutes, like, like right here, the clock's running, you got to learn all about some new stuff from Leashy to open up to the U.S. Thank you, guys. Tell your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and you're going to see more stuff from Peterson Lockpick, too. Thank you. Bye now. Literally, bye now. Come on, guys. We're going to go enjoy the show. Let's get picking. Mm -hmm.